I mean, that was a very powerful, powerful song, you know, and it was all about the choice that you have to make. That's what I'm going to talk to you about now. This morning, I was, I was listening to the radio, and it's something that I'm sure you've all heard, maybe not the same show, but it's on all the time, these sort of messages. And, it, and what the, the DJ was saying was, this is the sixth weekend before Christmas. Six weekends to go. Christmas is a real pillar in our year. As a culture, as a society, Christmas is something that everyone looks forward to. It's something where we mark our year by Christmas. Someone might say, oh, I'll do that next Christmas. Or, you know, even, wait, you know, Christmas is soon, you know. And it's something that people prepare for ages in advance. Some people even save up all year round so that they can have a lavish Christmas. If you walked in town earlier today, or even a couple of weeks ago, probably, you'd have seen Christmas trees out, snowmen in all the shops, Christmas decorations out, because for retailers, Christmas is the be-all and end-all. A couple of years ago in the recession, um, some retailers didn't have a very good Christmas, and in New Year, they shut down. The Christmas makes or breaks whether a business is gonna succeed in retail. If you go to Tesco's at the moment, you'll see piled high tins and tins of sweets and gifts and crackers and all sorts of things which are going to, you know, make Christmas special. Last year, the supermarkets between them had 6,500 different designs for Christmas cards. You know, this is something which is taken really, really seriously. But unfortunately, as a society, we've forgotten what Christmas is about. Because the truth of the matter is, Christmas is about one thing, and that thing is what we put this concert on for. We put this concert on, concert on to talk to you about the gospel, the good news. Yeah. Because the good news is that 2,000 and almost 15 years ago, in six weeks time, <laughs> Jesus was born on this planet. Yes. This is a fallen, fallen world. Fallen into sin, fallen into all manner of evil. And the reason why God sent his only son to this planet was so that we would have a chance to not spend eternity in hell. Yeah. This is the choice that that last song was talking about. It's the choice that you can make and you have to make whether you want to spend the rest of eternity in hell or in heaven. Because the sad thing in this country is that whilst we had 6,500 Christmas cards in the supermarkets last year, only 36 of them had anything to do with Jesus. The rest, well, there was happy snowmen. And happy snowmen, unfortunately, are not going to help you to have, a, uh, have eternal life in heaven. These days we think, hey, you know, our lives are so busy. We've got so much going on. I haven't got time for God. Well, the truth is, that Jesus is the light of the world. And if you don't make a choice, it doesn't matter. You know, if you don't believe in God, it doesn't matter because it's still real. Just because you decide that you're not going to believe doesn't mean that it's not a reality. Yeah, come on. So today I'm going to ask you to do exactly what it, that's, that song was about, exactly what the testimonies were about that we heard earlier. Make a choice. With that, can I ask for every head bowed?